Hi Libras, welcome and welcome back to Preferred Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Libra, most important messages for the sign of Libra. Please and thank you. Of quality, quality, of quality. And then I heard, and then I heard quality action that doesn't really mean anything to me so most important messages for the sign of libra be prepared libra i don't know what most important messages for the sign of libra something could be chaotic and confusing might be witnessing it though important messages for Libra, we have the Four of Wands, Home. We have the Page of Cups. It could be an, um, an apology. Someone wanting to date you or want you to be open to, open to them. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Energy, being single, free, lively, um, abundant. Justice card at the bottom of the deck that you are. And let me get one more card. The Hermit card. You're not saying much. All right, to be honest, if someone is in a relationship, someone's acting single, okay? Or <laughs> um, you could have said that you were willing to be in a commitment with someone else, but once again, you're still acting single. We have the full card at the bottom of the deck and the Six of Swords. Um, I want more, though. What is this Four of Wands energy? Like, you're not saying anything keeping something on the low what's the four of wands energy could be a virgo here we have the ace of pentacles yeah i feel like someone is a uh, in a fresh commitment a new commitment five of wands there you are but you still have your eye eye on uh, eyes on other individuals i feel with a page of swords and a five of wands or if you're in a relationship you feel like someone else is you feel like the other person might be acting single and you, you you're paying attention to what they have going on and you seeing um like the text messages or you see them just doing their own thing let's move forward i don't know what's the page of cups <laughs> what's the page of cups you have three cards that just came out ten of wands a burden knight of pentacles slowing down ace of cups loving yourself I feel like this if this is a person this person is going to give you give you like a run for your money what do i mean by that this person won't make it easy for you excuse me this person could come across as if like they're easy to deal with but low-key they may be hard to deal with okay yeah um who am i talking to libra be careful and aware of someone trying to manifest something with you. Like, oh, I I feel like I just said this to someone. I'll take you in. Um, I'll buy you this. I'll buy you that. We'll, why do I feel like someone is trying to have, like, a social media relationship? Like, someone wants, we, we'll look good together. That's what I'm hearing. hearing. We'll look good together. What I'm seeing here is that you need to protect yourself. Create boundaries okay protect yourself like be careful what you get yourself into for what someone is trying to offer you for what you feel like is going to benefit but from what for what you feel like you may benefit from this situation because it may be some type of dark energy in the midst of this what is the night nine of pentacles justice see that's why sources like do, doing something on your own would be a benefit here six of cups and then we have the empress card you the three of cups the chariot card so things were move, moving forward with something in the past and now it has slowed down to a certain extent maybe you were once working with someone but that's the reason why sources are showing like it's best for you to work for your, by yourself or for yourself, I was about to say that. What's the Hermit card? The Ace of Wands. Keep whatever it is that you're manifesting on a low, on the low. 
Like, don't tell everybody what you're working on before you're finished with it. That's what's best. Temperance card. Take your time. The strength card. So, some of you all are physically getting stronger. So, take your time. Like, don't rush the process because it takes time to uh, for your body to, to form out and stuff like that. And if you want to lose a certain amount of weight, that's going to take time. If you want to gain a certain amount of weight, that's going to take time. So, don't just give up. If that's what you're doing, like physically trying to change your body or whatnot. So give that time. Be patient with yourself as you manifest in it. But also create boundaries for yourself. And not just moving off impulse as you move forward. Because you, you're in the midst of like going in one direction, I feel. And because you're going in a better direction for yourself, some negative energy might may try to stop you from going in the best direction for you, yourself. So... Um, don't let the devil get you and get, get in your way type of energy. We have three aces out here for you. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Can I get more, can I get more on this justice card for Libra? Beautiful. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So, abundance. I, did I say abundance for you all? I might have said it for, for, um, Aries. Someone I said it for as I open up the reading. Chariot card and the Three of Pentacles. You're working on long-term success. The long-term outcome. Yeah. This is not. This is being true. And authentic to yourself. Not losing yourself in the midst of. I want to say chasing success. But I want to say. I would, I would rather say reaching success. Knowing where, where you come from. Remaining true to who you are. As you level up. So what's the ace of pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Death card. Yeah, someone's trying to offer you something and in, in, in they're acting like it's going to change your life. Or this could also be you having a gift within you that can also help change things for you in your life. Create a better foundation for yourself. But at the same time, I'm seeing this, these cards at the bottom of the deck. Two of Wands, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups. Higher fence, like something was behind, is would be maybe behind this offer or this gift. I'm not going to get stuck on that right now because I'm gonna have to come back to it with the death card. What's this ace of cups? The king of swords. I was saying something about um someone giving giving you a run for your money or making things tough or i feel like i was saying something else with this combination here and now with the king of swords coming out someone is really trying to act as if they're all lovey-dovey but low-key they're cold they're stern and they can be very harsh at times so be careful with who you say you love, I would say here. Be careful with who you open your heart up to. Because they might they, they mess around and cut you. So moving forward, what's the Ace of Wands? Mm -hmm. What's the Ace of Wands? I'm telling you. Be careful on what it is that you present to people if this is not even about what you're working on but so be careful about the information that you tell to others why am i even talking about that be careful about i'm gonna just say it again be careful about the information that you tell to others okay what you reveal to others the sun card in reverse is um also you like keeping yourself hidden not shining your light out there not being the best version of yourself however uh Someone could try to work your truth against you. Wow. It's, I'm hearing. I heard. As I said. I heard. Work your magic against you. She is all over my body. As I said that. Queen of Cups. Five of Cups. At the, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck right now. And it's. Someone. Something or someone lost control. Someone couldn't control you. That became a problem. Or someone's trying to offer you something to control you. 
and keep you hidden from your truest version of, version of yourself. That's why Source is saying it, it's best. It's, it will benefit you to remain true to yourself, to do something on your own, to not lose yourself in the midst of family, friendships, connections, relationships, no matter what they, what it is they're trying to offer you. What's the death card over here? We're going back to the sun card in a minute. Three of cups. You might have to end relationships. With some people. It, can, it might be several individuals that you um, you celebrated, celebrated with these people. You had fun with these individuals. But they might be keeping you in a stagnant position. Ugh. Whatever. It ain't that important to show the pictures. But um, these individuals may have kept you in a stagnant position. What's that sun card in reverse over there? Page of Wands. My initial thought is like someone trying to offer you D. Like if if this is a feminine energy trying just trying to offer you D, or if you're a masculine energy just trying to offer you P. However it is, um, this is put you to sleep type of energy. So this could be a sex demon. So someone working in the sexual, in a demonic sexual sexual energy. This person, this is what I would refer to as using sex as a weapon. So, um, this person will try to keep you in the house by just having, just sleeping with you. Will try to keep you sleep, which is, I don't know how how much sleeping you can do in life, but this person will try to keep you tied up, keep you weak, having you answer questions while you having sex with them to make you uh, do things and stuff like that. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. I'm sorry. This is what I'm getting. Sexual manipulation. Using sex as a weapon. And keeping yourself hidden. Like you're not re really being yourself because you just want to sleep off the D and the P. Or just so caught up on that energy. Come on, on Libra. Look, I think I'm gonna leave that here. We're gonna let me We're gonna pull a um an oracle for you all. And I'm gonna leave that there. Most important message for the sign of people. I didn't even get advice. See, I'm moving too fast. My bad. What's the advice for the sign of leap on my bad, y'all? Two of Pentacles, gang control to see things differently here with the hanging man at the bottom of the deck. What's more important to you with that two of Pentacles energy? What's that two of Pentacles page of swords? in reverse that is, that could be this, the energy of like just talking about it but not being about it saying that you want to do things saying you want to do this do that have this have that but not actually putting the work in to actually um, manifest it mm -hmm. not willing to walk away from things in order to have what it is that you want type of energy can I get more on the page of swords in reverse the devil <laughs> Time to release yourself from that because it came out sideways. So I know you about want to release it, but it's here with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Of the deck. There you are. So I said something about using your magic against you. So someone could be using sex magic. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know. That's this stuff just came up to me as I'm doing a reading. However, um. The, as I'm looking at the cards here with the Queen of Swords, the mag Magician, the Strength card, and the Temperance. So even if though, even if you may have the means to, um, like do magic spells, manipulation, however it is that you see it, I feel like this is something that um, Source is basically saying: do it in a more positive way. Don't let that type of energy to bring you down. Um, don't let that type of energy. Don't use the energy to manipulate. Don't use the energy to, to to just benefit you. If you feel like you're if it's if it's jeopardizing somebody else in the picture or something like that, I believe that's harmful and demonic with the devil card. I'm not telling you what and what not to do, but this is just what I'm saying. It's like sources telling is showing me in the deck that to tell you that you have the strength 
to control your manifestations, to control your magic. Okay, so it's reminding me of, it was an episode of the X-Men, not an episode, it was one of the movies where at one point she couldn't control her powers. Who was that? Who was that? It was the lady with the red hair, I believe. I cannot remember her name right now. She couldn't control her powers at one time and would just mess stuff up. Just, man, just doing whatever. Even in... So, I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, clarify the devil. This is about controlling your, your demons. Controlling your powers. Controlling your energy. So that you just won't lose it on everyone. And everything unnecessarily so the nine of wands and the two of cups we have the nine of wands and then we have the will of fortune so so what i'm seeing here is that someone was willing to do anything in order to have someone like a connection like someone was willing to do some risky ish to have some type of soulmate connections and stuff that's just what i'm seeing here y'all Nine of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. So, if you if you want to change, don't give up on creating a change for yourself. Like, you can change. You have the ability to change. To turn things around. You don't have to go in a di direction of negativity, low vibrational energy, and manipulation or whatnot. I'm going to leave it there now. So, most important message for the sign of Libra. You know your story, okay? Important message for the sign of Libra, please, and thank you. We have yin, feminine energy. And then we have round and round at the bottom of the deck. Let's read this. This is about letting someone else make the first move. We have the feminine principle of receptivity. Letting someone else make the first move. Gathering information and taking in cues. The art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you. Ready to accept it when it appears. Yen does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and co contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shape, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. So let's read number 25. And we have the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone back backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level, looking down into the circumstances, into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. I need a water break. I'm going to leave this here. Libra, that was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.